head back into the media room now where Quentin Post has been waiting patiently. Quentin, I appreciate your patience. Uh, I want to ask you about two dunks. I, I know you're seven feet tall, okay, so you're already way up there, but how cool is it when you can get in there and throw the ball down like you did a couple times tonight? Uh, well, it, it, uh, it felt great for sure. Um... It was kind of unexpected for me too, but I just went up as high as possible. And well, the first one was pretty uh, pretty easy, and then the second one I just went up as high as possible, and uh, I was able to dunk it down. Now you tell me it's unexpected. I have a hard time believing a guy with your size. It's unexpected for you to dunk. You mean that's not been a part of your game, or you just mean in the run of play it was kind of unexpected to get the ball in that spot? Uh, I think more like my playing style, like where I'm uh, a lot like stretching the floor, but like it. it, it it feels good to mix it up and be inside too and uh, catch a ball down low and being able to dunk one down. To, so it felt good. You got a lot of run out there tonight too, and I know that's something that's improved for you this year, more minutes on the floor. Is it is it becoming more natural getting into a rhythm, everything coming to you a little bit better because you can get into the rhythm of the game because you're out there so long right now? Yeah, that's definitely a thing. I think, um, uh, well, like... I mean, my minutes are still kind of be inconsistent, I think, but uh, because I've played a lot of games now, um, it's definitely easier getting into uh, getting into the game uh, sooner. Uh, so, yeah. I ask you this question, and I get out of the way. You and all of the, the forwards tonight had to guard out on the perimeter because Valley's guys were smaller, and they played a lot of four and even five out sometime tonight. Is that something that's easier for you because you're used to playing the international game where guys kind of get out and shoot the ball from distance, or is that an adjustment at this point? Um, I would say when I was younger, I did play a lot of. Uh, I actually played like a lot of forward, so I I am used to guarding guys outside. But last few years, I've been playing uh, mostly the, the the five position, also a little bit the four. So it was an adjustment uh, coming into this game, having to guard guys outside. But I think. I think we, uh, I think all the bigs did really well. We didn't really give up a lot of um, advantage to the other team. Um, so I think we did really well. Congratulations on the double-figure game. Uh, hope to see you back out there again here at SEC play, okay? Thanks, Newt. All right, we'll start with questions from the media with Joel, and then we'll go to Garrett. Joel, go ahead. Why didn't I ask Coach Howland this? I guess from a player's perspective, though, uh, next time you guys are on the floor, it'll be an SEC game, uh, uh, conference action. I, I guess I, I'll just ask you, eight games during the non-conference, uh, and just where do you feel like this team is at right now uh, heading into conference play? I think we're actually a really good team. I think we had a tough time starting out uh, starting out the season. We uh, missed Iverson, and, of course, we had a, a lot of guys, like a, a lot of freshmen having to step in, but I think we really, like, got into a, uh, our groove as a team um, and I think we're going to be a, real, a really good team. I think we're a really underrated team. Um, I think if we keep playing together like we've been doing uh, last few games, I think we have a real good chance to make an upset. You mentioned it, but with Iverson coming back, did that just make everything kind of, I guess, feel a little more at ease uh, once he kind of got back into the flow of things? Yeah, definitely. Well, I do want to say that Davon, who stepped in when Iverson was out, did a really good job as a freshman. But uh, with Iverson coming back with that experience, especially in the point guard position, I think is a big is a big deal for a team. Um, so yeah, it definitely helped out, and well, you see the results. Go ahead, Gary. Quentin, when the uh the season has kind of gone on. You've seen your role expand. How comfortable would you say, how much more comfortable, I should say, would you say that you are compared to maybe game one, and do you feel that you're acclimating pretty well? Um, what does acclimating mean? Um, getting, getting used to your role, essentially. <laughs> right. Getting used to my role. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I think... Um, I think I've gotten a lot more used to. Uh, well, I I kind of know what coach expects from me, um, and uh, and my mindset is just to get out there and play as hard as possible on defense. Try to uh, really pressure the ball in the ball screens, and uh, if I'm open, I shoot the ball and try to get as much rebounds as possible. That's kind of what I try to do. So yeah, like I know my role now, and I just try to um, go as hard as possible. Tolu, I talked to Coach Allen about this earlier, and 
you're doing such a good job, it seems, with your body of positioning yourself, especially on the offensive end, and then rather trying to put it on the floor, going right back to the rim, and that's either leading to easy buckets or fouls. How much have you worked on that in the last few weeks to try to get that dribble out of the paint? Um, in the beginning of the season, Coach Highland emphasized uh, me not dribbling the ball because if you watch the tournament uh, of our first few games, it was, uh, it was um, I guess, uh, constant for me to dribble. I, I'm not sure why, but he just emphasized me not dribbling these next few games, and it's uh, been working out really good for me. You really <laughs> look like a guy who can go out here and put up these kind of numbers, these double-double type numbers every night. I mean, you've done it four, four <clears throat> out of eight games now. Is that something, even though you didn't score a ton of points that first year at Western Kentucky because you weren't playing a ton of minutes, do you, did you always feel like you're a guy who could be a double-double guy night in and night out? Yes, sir. I mean, with the size of my body shape, my frame, I should be able to um, bring a double-double in every night. It's uh, pretty much a necessity for our team to win. You've got uh, a chance now to play with a lot of different guys on that front line, too. Abdul played some tonight. Quentin Post was out there a little bit tonight. <clears throat> What's it like building chemistry with those guys? And is it starting to feel like now eight games in that everybody kind of understands everyone? You feel like you're all kind of on the same page? Right. Like I said previously, uh, we're becoming a, more of a mesh and building chemistry amongst our team. And uh, you're starting to see it uh, communication-wise. I, I feel like early on we were just real quiet on the court, but now it's just constant talking, constant chatter. So you can tell that we're uh, communicating and uh, meshing pretty good. Tolu, thank you. Yes, sir. We'll open up the media portion of the questions for Joel. Again, if you've got questions for Tolu, go ahead and queue them up in the chat for us. Joel, you bat lead off. Tolu, you mentioned there that everybody, there, there just seems to be more of a chemistry developing amongst you guys and things. And how much do you think that early on that was kind of hampered uh, with, with Davon kind of getting his feet wet uh, while Iverson was out? And then, of course, Iverson comes back, and then he kind of, I guess, <clears throat> You guys kind of have to develop a, a chemistry with him too. Uh, how much of the early going of this season uh, do, do you think that was a factor for you all trying to, you know, have a, a true freshman get his feet wet right. and Iverson get back acclimated? Well, I feel like it's tough for all of us. Um, we got a lot of new faces, so it's, uh, it's all obviously going to be hard to mesh at times and um, just got to build that chemistry. But I feel like Davon. Uh, as a freshman, did a great job for us early on, especially early on, and um, he's continued to do a great job for us. He's constantly learning, constantly getting better each day. And uh, heading into SEC play now, just where do you feel like this team is at? And, uh, you know, I told, like I said, Coach Allen, you know, ready or not, here it comes. It's coming no matter what. But do, do you feel like you guys are ready and in a good spot as, as SEC, play, SEC play starts? Yes, sir. I feel like we're in a great spot. Um, obviously, they have his load than we would want to be, but uh, – I, I like being an underdog, you know, uh, and I feel like personally um, we put a lot of work in and um, the results are going to show.